Mama, do you want to go to city for a night? Can I? Yes. <laughs> Travel via plane will always start on an airplane. The plane has just arrived. Avalon Airport or AVV serves as a bustling hub for travelers looking to explore the vibrant city of Melbourne to fasten your seatbelt and its picturesque surroundings. As the second busiest airport serving the state capital, Avalon Airport is renowned for its efficiency and convenience, making it a favorite among locals and tourists alike. From the moment you step into Avalon Airport, the ease of travel is palpable <laughs> with its streamlined boarding process, hassle-free parking, and less crowded spaces. It's clear why the airport prides itself on flying made easy. Avalon Airport provides a seamless start to your adventure and Mama will start her journey from this airport. The airport's location in the city of Greater Geelong offers travelers a unique opportunity to explore a region rich in natural beauty and cultural heritage. Just a short drive from the iconic Great Ocean Road, Avalon is the perfect starting point for a scenic coastal drive or a visit to the famous Twelve Apostles. Planning your trip is a breeze with Avalon's user-friendly website, where you can book flights, check parking options, and, and find all of the essential information to prepare for your flight. And with the current flight schedules, airline details, and important traveler information readily available, you'll have everything you need at your fingertips. As we all know by now, we live in the state of Victoria where Geelong is located. Nestled by the sparkling waters of Corio Bay, Geelong stands as a testament to Australia's rich history and vibrant future. This port city City, the second largest in Victoria, is a gateway not just to the stunning Great Ocean Road but also to a plethora 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 of experiences that cater to every kind of traveler. Two hours later, Sydney, the sparkling jewel of Australia, is a city that never fails to enchant its visitors. With its stunning harbor, iconic landmarks, and bustling city life, Sydney. offers a blend of natural beauty and urban sophistication that's hard to match. The city's heart beats around the Sydney Harbour, where the majestic Opera House and the imposing Harbour Bridge stand as testaments to human ingenuity and creativity. These architectural marvels are not just for show, they're active cultural hubs where you can experience world-class performances and breathtaking views. I've already been doing this and there's too many big words. My brain is hurting. <laughs> But Sydney's allure extends far beyond its famous structures. The city is a salad bowl of cultures, reflected in its diverse neighborhoods, each with its own unique charm. From the historic rocks area, where cobbled streets whisper tales of the past, to the trendy bars and cafes of Surrey Hills, there is a corner of city to suit every taste. For those who seek the sun and surf, Sydney's beaches are second to none. Bondi Beach, perhaps the most famous of them all, is a vibrant community where surfers, skaters, and sunbathers mingle. The coastal walk from Bondi to Coogee, or Coogee, I, can, I don't know how to pronounce, offers stunning ocean views and a chance to experience Sydney's laid-back beach culture. She has arrived at the Sydney airport. Moments later. Traveling can be a hectic experience, but there's a small joy that often goes unnoticed. The sight of neatly organized luggage on the conveyor belt at baggage claim. It's a moment that brings a sense of order to the chaos of travel. When bags are placed with handles facing the owner, it not only eases the retrieval process but also reflects a thoughtful approach by the airport staff. This seemingly minor detail is a testament to the meticulous planning and organization that goes into managing an airport. Kudos to all the airport nice. staff at Godgu. <laughs> she definitely felt the warm embrace of Sydney weather because it was 9 degrees in Geelong and then suddenly it was 27 degrees in Sydney. Stay hydrated. She booked her hotel in Haymarket. And no, I don't mean the market that they sell hay in. <laughs> Hay Market is the southern end of Sydney Central Business District. I, I can't stop laughing about the name. It's a vibrant and dynamic suburb that offers a unique blend of history, culture, and moder modernity. Known for its significant Chinese influence, Hay Market is home to Sydney's Chinatown, Thai Town, and Railway Square localities, making it a mishmash of Asian cultures and traditions. The culinary scene in Haymarket is a food lover's paradise too. And no, you do not get to eat hay because that's what the farm animals eat. <laughs> After a long day of plane travel and hotel transfer, there's no other way on how to combat fatigue and get your energy back than having a hot soup with noodles. With no hay, of course. 
She made her way to her favorite Thai boat noodle here in Sydney, and that's Chon Sham. Yay! Chon Sham Thai restaurant emerges as a culinary beacon for those seeking authentic Thai flavors in Sydney. This vibrant eatery, located at 38 Campbell Street, has become a late-night hub for food enthusiasts and night owls alike, offering a lively indoor-slash-outdoor setting that perfectly complements the city's dynamic atmosphere. She ordered her favorite boat noodle for only $6.50. This hearty noodle soup has a history as colorful as its flavor profile. Originally sold from boats navigating the bustling canals of Bangkok, these noodles are a concoction that melts together a variety of soy sauces, aromatic herbs, and spices, creating a taste that is both robust and comforting. Each bowl typically containing rice noodles, slices of meat, and sometimes liver or meatballs, all swimming in the savory broth. It's common for enthusiasts to consume multiple bowls in one sitting, but one bowl is not for mama. The restaurant's popularity is not just a product of its delicious food, but also its value for money. With generous portions and reasonable prices, Chon Sham has become a go-to spot for affordable dining without compromising on quality or taste. Whether it's a quick lunch special or a leisurely dinner, guests can expect to enjoy a meal that's both satisfying and wallet-friendly. After eating, Mama is now ready to explore the city. She walked from Haymarket to Circular Quay. She passed through the Town Hall, a historical gem in the heart of Sydney. Sydney Town Hall stands as a testament to the city's rich history and architectural grandeur. Built in the 1880s, this heritage-listed building is not just a seat of local government but also a hub of cultural and community events. Town Hall's Victorian interiors are nothing short of breathtaking, with ornate decoration that transports visitors back to the 19th century. It's a place where history is built on the state of an old cemetery and crafted from local Sydney sandstone. Moving on, the Sydney Tower Eye, true icon of the Sydney skyline. 250 meters above street level, it offers a 360 panoramic view of the bustling city and far beyond. It's not just the view that's breathtaking, the experience of ascending to the top is an adventure in itself. It's like Mount Everest, but less. Still two stations away, so she decided to take a tram, and she arrived at Circular Quay. Circular Quay! This is a must-try in Circular Quay, an indulgent scoop in Royal Copenhagen. Imagine strolling along Sydney's Riders Walk, feeling the ocean breeze, and then treating yourself to a scoop, or two, of their famous ice cream. With a variety of fun flavors and the joy of tried-like excitement, Royal Copenhagen promises a memorable experience with every scoop. If, you're, if you've been watching for a long time, you might remember Royal Copenhagen back in Adelaide. But the sweetness doesn't stop there. If you find yourself near the iconic circular key, you're in for a treat. The Royal Copenhagen kiosk here is perfectly situated for you to enjoy your ice cream with a view of the bustling harbor and the Sydney Opera House in the distance. What sets Copenhagen ice cream apart in Sydney's dessert scene is not just its rich taste and quality, but also the experience it offers. It's about those moments of joy, whether you're sharing a cone, I'm so envy right now, mama, with friends, enjoying a solo treat, or taking a break from sightseeing. It's a taste of Sydney that goes beyond the palate, creating memories that are as sweet as the ice cream itself. After she finished her ice cream she ordered rose Ro -ze. Ro -ze. Ro -ze. from opera bar you're greeted by the salty breeze and the rhythmic sounds of the harbor the atmosphere is casual yet chic making it the perfect spot for both tourists and locals looking to unwind the bar's design complements its surroundings with open spaces and minimalist decor that allows the stunning backdrop to take center stage and this is the disturbing part so if you get scared easily you might want to click on another video but this is the most upsetting view that you could ever witness especially in a very safe place like sydney the sails of the opera house light up with this black ribbon to pay tribute to those killed and injured to this inane attack two days after mama arrived in this beautiful place sydney mourns for the pointless loss of six in innocent lives to the killer who identified as a 40-year-old man from Queensland. He was known suffering from severe mental health issues. Six shoppers were killed during the attack before he was gunned down by a female police officer, Amy Scott. This tragic event in Bondi Junction frightened the entire nation. This has unlikely happened in a peace-loving nation like Australia. Australians are grieving and our hearts goes out to the families and loved ones of those who have lost their lives. So that's what happens when you don't talk to someone about your problems. It keeps building up and building up and then poof! Negative emotions rise and then you resort to some of that. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. So don't forget, keep the conversations open because some people will willingly listen to you.